okay guys once again this is gonna be a little guide i would say uh like i usually do members only i guess but this is where i start my lab so basically i start my lab here but you actually want to start your lab right about there so you see the difference this is how i get a little bit extra space on the just on, on the road you just get a little bit extra and then it's just gonna turn it better so you're fully utilizing the track so basically uh you have a little bit of additional room on the left where you can use to get a better exit and here as soon as you touch the curb this is where you get on the power so getting on the power uh, staying on in the middle you can actually stay in the middle it's not a big deal if you go a little bit too far to the right or too far to the left as long as you keep it in the middle and stay right about there you can see my ghost just <laughs> going 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 um yeah this is my first breaking point but what i would like to mention here that if you can see the marshal there is a marshal waving the flag but there is also also marshal down there on the left hand side you want to use that but as i'm turning in so basically you want to start turning in but have a look at how much rotation am i using here i'm not fully rotating the wheel i'm not straightening it up i'm doing to about 45 degrees i would say 45 degrees is mostly enough so 45 degrees and stay like you know keep it like that this is where you can actually straighten up the wheel a little bit more so the biggest mistake i've seen people going in too early or people going in too late either way it's bad either way it's like you're gonna lose time so if you go in too early you're just gonna lose time on the exit if you go in too late you will drift wide so the most common mistake i saw that people start to slam the brakes down this is not the way to go so basically you want to keep it as smooth as possible on the braking and this is what helps you rotate the car so basically that stable input to about 50 percent 40 50 percent is just about enough this is the thing that's going to bring you to the line and when you reach when you reach the curb it's all about letting go and putting the power down in fourth gear so don't be afraid to put the power down because now the curb is going to rotate the car better so once you get close to the curb or actually you get to the curb you will probably have this situation so you will probably have this one like going in too wide you will have something like this but then if you get on the curb the curb is just going to rotate you so don't be afraid to like Put the power down and it will, it's just gonna rotate the car and i have to say something about this one so you got the shadow you got the one sign but i'm usually breaking right before it so when the sign in front of me ends this is where i break and i put my braking bias to minus why minus because you can also see it's at quite an uphill section and the biggest mistake you can do here is try to turn in late so doing something like this so this is not a good idea because why because you got the marbles here and then you got this it's a slow it's a slow i would say incline section you just like you lift off a little bit it's not really lifting off but it's kind of messing up with the weight, weight of the car so here you just want to stay in the middle kind of in the middle of the track on the entry so basically you're breaking here but as early as you can start to turn in because now you see there is a little decline now so if you miss that you're just gonna go wide so basically you're messing up with the weight of the car and if you go in too late i mean sorry it's it's just too late you're gonna go wide here but again as you start to turn in have a look at my braking inputs this is where i break a little bit so as soon as you t start to turn in you want to do something like this 30 40 percent and now you're in second gear waiting the throttle and then you put the power down if you do something like this if you literally go from zero to 100 and rotate the car it's not gonna work you got to do it slowly so hold it hold it hold it hold it and then put the power down it's just gonna help the car rotate and keep it it's gonna really keep it steady uh, to be honest with you and again here i'm using the curb but you can see how late am i turning in actually so this is not my this is not my entry so I've seen a most common mistakes I've seen here is just like going like that. And then where is where is the balance of the car? You're gonna be like pushed out and you're gonna go wide. So this is not the ideal line. This is just not how you do it. So first of all, I would say going from this part, you wanna keep the car as close as possible to the right hand side. And again, you see, it's very, very different. 50% of the brakes, there you go, touch the curb, go for it nothing to lose you can wait a little bit and then put the power down 
but just utilizing full width of that curb I think that's uh, that's probably the best thing you can do and also here you got th this one curb this is the curb you want to be using and then again why no good like too wide is no good because again you got the marbles you're just gonna get pushed up wide and if you go in too early still not good because once again you're gonna end up here so what you want to do you want to keep the middle line the middle line is probably the best here there are some variations with different cars but this is the one i would say this is the one for you uh, put the braking bias again to plus two and then this is this is the line you, you should be taking middle line slowly applying the brakes you should let off the brakes at this point slowly starting to apply and now have a look at this line it's a perfect i would say like the perfect indicator to start to put the throttle on and this is where you go second and up the third gear this is something that really breaks or it can really break your lap really i mean you can you lose a lot of time as well as here i noticed in my track guide that you can use two markers you got this one you got this one uh, a shadow on the right and you got the one marker on the left whatever you do don't try to turn in too early because you're gonna end up here and people might ask me like i'm going wide i mean this is the reason why you're going wide because you were too early on the entry so basically as late as you possibly can not too late at the same time but as late as you can not to go too wide but again you got the one and this is where you turn again but one crucial really really crucial thing no more than 30 40 percent something about this and hold it hold it hold it hold it something like this you got the shadow this is one very very good indicator and you got something in between here so this in between section where it's actually kind of a beams of sunlight this is where you put the throttle down and most of the time you're gonna get here why i'm say saying most of the time because it's very hard to kind of manipulate the brake and right of this track i mean it's never i guess it's never going to be perfect but you can get close to it and again uh one more thing i said this is the breaking point but it's the breaking point if you want to turn in at the same time so if you break don't break too hard again 50 40 about 40 to 60 is about perfect range for braking i'm talking about percentage here and again you got the curb you got the shadow this is where you're going in but at the same time break and turn in and this all of a sudden becomes like a very very fast section where you actually put the power down quickly very very quickly if you go too wide you can see it's all it's only starting to flip you know it, it's already clipping the curb right here but if you're gonna go want to go back a little bit so this is the safe zone this is actually still the safe zone you wouldn't believe it but this is the safe zone a little bit too much you're on the gravel so fully utilizing this curb if you not take it properly if you take it only this part of the curb i mean it's okay but you can get more time out of this so you can get more time out of this fully utilizing the curb and then carrying all of that speed onto this straight i mean it's a little straight it's not really straight but again one thing i've seen people try to enter this corner like this so how are you supposed to turn it you cannot turn in that well if you hold that line so don't try to stay in the middle of the track don't try to i would say stay in the middle of the track right about this right about till here so this is the middle section this is the middle line section you got the two marker on the right you keep it as close as possible to the left hand side of the curve and this where you see i'm, I'm kind of pointing out in this direction my car is pointing out in this direction i'm looking at the one marker and already here i'm 30 40 percent of the braking 30 is about enough and this is where you're going in so as soon as you see that one marker you're starting to turn in so second gear third gear bring the car close to the right inside of the track don't try to go in i've seen multiple times people try to get in here and then turn in no you gotta point out the car in the direction you want to be headed so um, the car 
the balance of the car should all, always be neutralized. So the car, the weight of total weight of the car, total center of the car should always be in the middle. So we can have more time to kind of manipulate where you want to go. I mean, not always, but 90% of the time you want something like this. So keep it, you know, keep it as close as possible to the lines right there. One again, but I'm like super, super fast on the, on the brake. Like I'm doing this into about 30, 40%. You want to keep your braking bias to about zero or maybe even minus one because this car really likes to rotate. So we just like this one, let it go. A little bit of tap on the brakes, let it go. And this is where you're opening up the power. This is where you're going out. Why? I mean, I'm talking this because people usually slam the brakes down and turn at the same time. It's not the way to go. You should like brake slowly reduce it to about 20 30 percent the car is also also rotating at the same time and i'm using brake and bias minus, uh, minus one so i can control it a bit better so this is why i'm doing that stuff and also again uh, i said in my intro of this video you can use this one you can use like a little bit more road on the left you could but i wouldn't necessarily recommend it could but don't do it if you're not familiar with the car if you don't know how to control the car properly i would i would avoid it to be honest with you i would avoid it but move your braking bias to one because now you can turn in a bit better and it's again 60 70 percent to about 20 30 you get to the shadow you get to the curb and this is where you're getting out utilizing the track just like use whatever you can on the track so I hope I pointed out the most common mistakes and how to do proper lines, but this is about it. So 50, 60%, you can even see, even if I'm coasting, I'm going to get those corners right. I mean, my ghost is far ahead, but just try to keep it smooth, try to keep it constant, because have a look at this. It's smooth, it's not going anywhere. So this could be my race pace, for example. I mean, it's probably not going to be my race pace, but I'm telling you on this track, just try to be smooth because if you're not smooth the car is gonna go wide you're gonna go you're gonna lose control almost immediately but if you follow these instructions as i said before if you just follow the lines and do correct power power management braking management all of that stuff the lap times should and will go down even here like you see what i'm doing I'm, i can even let go let go of the throttle and i'll have like a good lap time in all of this like this is this is this is a bit too slow in my opinion but i'm trying to demonstrate how easily you can get a clean lap in without too much struggle without too much pressure and again here you see the car is also rotating at this point i'm rotating the car is rotating my ghost is far ahead far far ahead but have a look at this all of this makes sense if you if you know how to control it take it easy take your time and when you take your time you're gonna be much much better off this was like a slow lap and i did 130 so you can do i think you can do a lot better just i i think i've given it all on this track i hope i did i'm i hope you enjoyed this one see you guys